Hey everyone, welcome to my major unboxing video. Now, you may think you're going to see my face in this video. You're not. Have fun trying to figure out what I look like. Any Hootski, let's take a look at all these figures that I have stuffed in a box. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 dinosaurs to unbox for my 400 subscriber special. Wait, is it 10? Yep, 10. Okay, we're good to go. We're going to start smallest to biggest. That is the... I have no idea how to spell this, but the... Maskicosaurus. Let me just get this thing open. Got it. Uh, let's look at the box art for a second. It's not that bad. Sorry if you're wondering why my video is at like 5 frames per second. It's because uh my phone's dead right now, so I can't record on my phone, so I have to record on my... You know, my my dumb, dumb, dumb computer. My computer's like 50 years old, so, you know, anyways, I like keeping the boxes. Uh, anyways, so the Mika source looks nothing like how it looks like in real life. Well, crap, I almost just hit uh, turn off, but it looks nothing like it loads in real life. It does have a little you know, unique action feature. You can open its mouth. It has a lot of articulation that I do really enjoy. Really cool, actually. I really like this one. Put the one off to the side. Time for the Allosaurus. This one's already out of its box because I had this in a video once, but the box art is amazing. I was actually able to keep the, the box semi good, so you know when I get older I can definitely sell this thing for a valuable. For, it's pretty valuable actually. And then sound effect one. Sound effect two. And Sound effect three. It has all the, you know, the same articulation besides the ball joint and the tail. The paint's really, you know, not really that good. But at least the inside of the mouth is painted this time, unlike, you know, the one from before. Honestly, that's not a bad, you know, figure. Let's move on. Uh, let's do the Dominion Zhongshangosaurus, I think that's how you say it. One of my favorite dinosaurs. It's already out of the box because, you know, I took this thing out of the box a while ago. I'm gonna have to take this box shut because it's so so flimsy because you have to cut open everything. But the boxer, I really like the box art though. On it, it's amazing. I really like it. I feel like it's unique. What other dinosaurs are on the line. Quetzalcoatlus. What I expect. I only have two Dominion figures, sadly. Uh, but this is like a really cool figure because like you can have it down like that, and then plus. You can shake its head all around. Really cool. I really like this one. Probably one of my it's one of my favorite dinosaurs. Cynoceratops, Camp Cretaceous. It actually still has the card back in it. it Sells the card from when I first got it because I never got it to get it out. But I don't care. I really don't care about the cards. Honestly, they were kind of. It was good for once, it was one good thing. And of course, as the Camp Cretaceous logo, this one's beat the heck up. This is the first box I kept, it's the Primal Attack. What? Anyways, uh, the batteries are dying in this thing. Yeah, it's got a, you can tilt its head. Really cool. One's really flimsy though. We still got... I used. Okay, we we went through four figures. We still have six more to unbox. <sighs> Let me get my fan on me. <laughs> Much better. Okay, let's uh, start off. You know, from the from here. Kakardontosaurus. This was released way back into like Christmas of last year. I actually still have the Dino. The capture gear for it. Insert the capture gear. And then it breaks out. I really like it. The box art's the same. It's a dino skate box art. I don't have any of the other dino skates, but I do have the Stegosaurus. Oh crap, I should just got in the video. Eh, I could care less. Um Spinosaurus or Indominus. Spinosaurus Indominus. Spinosaurus Indominus. Spinosaurus or Indominus. Let's do Indominus Rex first. These are both unboxed, but 
It's still cool, because I put them back in the box. Press the button. Chop it down. It's actually got a rotation in the neck still, which is really cool. And these arms don't go down because they it's a base it's the base model from the older figure. Kind of, you know, predicted that. It's also got a really short tail. And uh the legs move at once. But it's not this way. It makes that weird clinking noise. It's like broken. I don't know why. Okay. The Indominus Rex, the Indominus Rex is Yeah, the same on the back. It got the Toro. Toro on the side. Should have Toro. Never kept the box for it, or else it would have been in this video. The Extreme Chopping Spinosaurus. Mine's got a flimsy tail. Right now, of course. It's got a really flimsy tail. And really flimsy feet. I really like this one, though. Never shocked me from loving the Spinosaurus figures. I love Spinosaurus. Especially the Jurassic Park ones. JP3. JP3 Spinosaurus is my favorite Spinosaurus. I love it. And just because I say Adonis wins, Adonis Rex wins over Spinosaurus doesn't mean that I don't like the Spinosaurus any less. I hate when people say that. They're like, oh, hello. But you got to see my ear. <laughs> ear reveal. Anyways, yeah, this is like the. It's a kind of like the Camp Cretaceous background. It's also got the. Uh, different ways to say Spinosaurus. Es Spinosaurio. Uh, Spinosaurus. And S Spinosaurus. Gigantic bite. And the Scorpius Rex just fell out of this package, so. <laughs> yes, these are all open. Okay. Capture gear for this guy. Goes on like that. And then, the brace out. It's also got this little really cool stomp feature. No, I don't want you roaring. Shut up. Please shut up. Very cool. Scorpius, stay in your packaging. We're having some technical difficulties with the Scorpius Rex here. Let me skip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I tried to get that back in this place. Okay, so we got a pretty big pile, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, it's not like you can really even see my face. You can see my mouth. Oh, my mouth. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Like, there's a... What's it called? Kind of look like a monkey. Whoa. <laughs> anyway, um, here, I'm going to sit back up. My pants keep falling down, I hate it. Let's do Scorpius Rex first, because they keep falling out of this package. I'm going to kill this thing. Mine doesn't work that well. It just kind of grunts and moves its hands like. Wait a minute, we having a seizure, man? Still works. And the little auction feature thing. Would have been cooler if the button on the back wasn't used for the grunting noise. It was actually used for a, like a tail swipe. Like a that'd be cool. That'd be much cooler. But uh. Tell kind of lied. <laughs> For mine, at least. Scorpius Rex slashing action. All mine action is is grunting action. Make your dinosaurs grunt. Ugh. Last but not least, the Stegosaurus. Let's get this thing open. One of my favorite figures. I feel like I'll, I'll tell kind of outdid their self, themselves on this one. It's got a great paint job. Reminds me of the Lost World, actually. The the box art is actually really really nice because it's like every single one of the other ones. But you know you can just see the back. It's got actually two swings that you can swing it right and left. You can swing it both ways. I love this figure. That's why I'm taking my time with this one. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna place it down, and we're gonna dump out the capture gear it comes with. And you eat the box over there. Yes, I have a pile of boxes over there because. I have nowhere. Oh, wait, what else is in this line? Or oh, dinosaurs I don't have. I got the Scorpius. Hey, does anyone else remember freaking out when we got the Scorpius Rex? 
uh, for the Mattel thing on the box, in their box. Everyone was freaking the heck out. They were like, what? They were like crazy with flipping over about it. And they were like, this crazy. I was one of those people. I didn't know what the score was for at the time. Now, see, when I first got this, I was confused on how the capture gear went. I got it for Christmas of this year. I mean, last year. Uh, yeah, you know. 2021. You clip it together like so. And you have to make sure it... The little padding goes over top of the spikes. And you... To kind of wait till it recoils back. And you know, got yourself a Sega source that moves two ways. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I really like this figure though. I really think that uh, Mattel did a great job on this figure. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to end it there because I have no other figures to unbox. And I'll be doing the Giga next. The Giga is like one of my favorite dinosaurs. I'll be doing the Giga and Theory. And I'll be also trying to get I'm trying to get the, the truck thing, the capture and destroy truck. Let's see if I can review that. I'm broke right now. I got 11 bucks. It's 25 on Amazon. So by next allowance, I should be able to get it. But uh, I shall see you guys. Oh, crap. Sorry, I was looking at something on here. News. My nose and mouth. But uh, thank you guys for coming here. Have a great day and a safe day. Adios, my friends.